Hi, besties. Welcome to So Rude. Ooh, I'm here with Seb Argo. And I'm here with Dion Yorkie. Ooh, how are you, Seb Argo? I'm doing fabulous. How about you? I'm doing great. Not sponsored by uh, Chanel or this drink that I'm <laughs> I'm going off. I, I, I decided to throw everything on my tank top today. For yeah, I saw that. Video. It's a little moment. Then there were the, the tattoos and everything. It's giving something. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. surely giving something. For as someone who was talking about, Seth was talking about the gym today, how we, you know, finally have arrived at a style that we like. Once like, I'm going to let Mocha into the studio. Um, and then I think maybe I went back on that today. Maybe I didn't land on a style. Yeah, I was saying, oh, I love how, like, when we try out different styles, we know how they're going to work now. <laughs> I guess it's, I an, it's an explorative process. Yes. I like it. But, no, yeah, like, I feel do like... y'all listening, do y'all relate? Because it's, like, I feel like nowadays I'm giving younger people. Because, like, no, you know how at the Met Gala you see, like, a guy in a look, and you're like, I wish he just oomphed it a bit. Um, That's what I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to oomph that moment a little bit, you know. Sure. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Sometimes you don't need to oomph the gray sweatpants and tank top look. Okay, I got you. But it looks good. You know what? <laughs> no, leave it, leave you know it. What? It I'm looks gonna... cute. I, okay, I bought this. I have like a little Chanel bow, y'all, and I bought this at like a cute thrift. Store. What are they called? Not thrift. Consignment. Store. That was a consignment store, but I don't know. Um, and I've never had a chance to wear it, so I was like, today's the day. <laughs> Cause like honestly, it's a bow it's the, I, there's only so much you can do yeah i'm pretty sure it's for gifts i don't think it's for outfits oh okay so or do put you that think over it's there for... and then <laughs> we're gonna decide one day to give that as it, a gift. oh it's, it's for hair it's oh, wait, not for an outfit in, put it in your hair that's cute not right now okay i don't want to mess up my hair <laughs> but could i say about that this one cute. before we get into the juicy pod yeah so this one is actually shout out to my grandma as you can see i have these tattoos which are two like acne masks whatever they thespians, thespians. call it uh so oh, this fell off, but it's a cute pen my grandma gave me, and I love it. That's cute. Yes. Yes, go on. Okay, you talk while I pen this uh, Yeah, so if y'all listening at home, do y'all relate? Because I feel like nowadays, younger people, they have like TikTok, social media, and everything, so they know how to work the styles and the trends and everything like from the get-go. That's why everyone looks so good all the time. And then like back in our older days social media wasn't that present so we went through like an ugly duckling phase that we didn't know what the fuck we were doing with our hair with our outfits with nothing uh, <laughs> we really need to bring up some of those photos on patreon because the one of me with the skunk hair yeah i like had just that. A patch. i call it my love patch i went like i went so many no. times <laughs> to the dresser hairdresser and they would just experiment with my hair and mess it up. And I would, it's like, yeah. I just wanted to trim. But they would give me, like, this, like, ugly-ass mullet <laughs> vibe thing. You come out with a honeybee comb? Yeah, one time I literally cried. I was like, well, like, in the hair salon, I was like, thanks, I love it. And he's like, yeah, I look so good right now. I'm like, uh-huh. And then I went in my car and immediately cried to my mom. I was like, mom, what the fuck? That destroyed me. I look so ugly. I was crying. It was maybe with guys, they just got too experimental or something because I had like similar situation. I was like, hi, could I get blonde? And I came out with pure rouge, baby. I was selling the ginger fantasy. It's because it was not blonde. I'm <laughs> convinced all. like before everybody just like studied like that went to study like hair things they only did it for girls i think yeah yeah so whenever they got Longer a guy hair. yeah whenever they got a guy that wanted something other than like the usual bus cut mm. they would like be so bad at it like it always be the highlight yeah like no they would do my hair they would cut my hair and then they would like you know how like in mexico they like dry it and style it for you for free yeah they would start doing it but i would end up looking like a grandma with a perm like barb and star because they didn't know how to style guys' hair or like short hair. I mean, now that would be a moment. Yeah, now <laughs> like to go back and see. No, but now all the guys like people always ask me, are you, "Is yours a perm?" I'm like, "This is natural." But are are guys actually going out and getting perms now? Yeah, I love that. I, love like, that. <laughs> I think it's bad for your hair, but I think they are. I think my dad got a perm back in the day. Actually, oh my god, I need to see that. Yeah, me too. I I feel like if I <laughs> can you imagine if I had one. If you had a perm, you'd be like, like a double decker bus. You'd yeah. be like Bob Ross, Ross Bob. Oh, I would be Rossi Rossi be magical. Um, Rossi Rossi. Anyway, oh my god, did you see um Ross Matthews interviewing Beyonce? No, it's like this 
like interview and then you don't know who like Ross Matthews talking to and then he's talking to Beyonce and the guy on the gumption of what he was saying to Beyonce. Is it old? Yeah, it's really old, but it was like so weird to say. I see, saw this crazy. video of Beyonce in her concert and then this guy is recording. He's like front row and he's like screaming like, ah, Oh my God, I saw this today. Ah, and then she's like, <laughs> she was literally like, I'm about to come over there and kick you. Which like, how do you feel about like, I've seen a lot of people go in like on TikTok and Twitter be like, cancel concert culture respect concert culture blah 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 because they were com- that? oh yeah like people saying like stay seated so everyone can see yeah like things like that it's like i get concert culture in the way that it's like okay don't push don't shove don't like push and shove yeah don't push and shove be respectful mm. but they were just they're trying to make it seem like oh concert culture don't scream the lyrics don't sing out of tune things like that i'm like bitch Shut the fuck up. Y'all need to go out more. Touch grass. I think touch grass a little. Because if you go to a concert in Mexico, everyone's like, nobody's in key. Nobody's in, like, it. yeah. You love the artists. You love you love them so much. This is the one chance you're seeing them. If, and if singing your with prerogative them. is to sing the song out loud at the top of your lungs, to show that person how much you adore their music, I feel like everyone everyone has their own wavelength, you know? Like, if if you're so concerned about someone else, then you're not on your own. Yeah, you're not vibrating to the highest potential. Yeah, just enjoy your moment. Like, it's like, that mo- when you start to interfere with someone else's bubble, that's when it's a problem. Yeah, like when I stepped on that guy, the Taylor Swift, and I was like, that was a problem. And then I said, sorry. And he was like, oh, no, don't even worry about it. Because he knew how excited we were all were. Uh-huh, like we're serving luck stunting pretty. Yeah. Like, we're not here to just sit down and what i'm sorry yeah but i'm not at that like I'm, i haven't quite i need a knee, knee replacement i'm sure but uh, i'm not quite there yet say. i do feel bad as a tall person at concerts like i go ham like i'm like i'm dancing in my spot. and I mean, we I'm always myself, get like our luck is bad we're like bad. our luck is good we're lucky girls but the luck for the people behind us is always bad because we always get like really short people behind us and i feel bad because i always wear my big ass like what's it called wedges floor. Because I'm like I'm a, I'm not the tallest, yeah, so yeah. I come prepared. I'm like in case there's a tall person, exactly. I'm gonna part. wear my butt, my that wedges. Part. That part. And if you're someone who wants to be in the seats and go in the stands, like don't I would never even if there's seats, I would never get a floor seat if I wanted that like unobstructed. Because when you go in the stands, you have a bit of yeah. level. Yeah, yeah. Like when if you're, on, you're the floor, on the floor, you know it's gonna be a little round. Yeah, if you're gonna be in the floor, expect that maybe your view is gonna be covered. Mm-hmm. No, hundred percent. Bring the extra stealth and the binoculars. Yeah, you know. Imagine, oh my God, still to the concert, <laughs> and that that's a little far. You're like, I got my chair with my <laughs> with like the guy from the show yesterday. You have your custom pants to cover <laughs> the stilts, and you're like, what? These are just my legs. Honey. Oh, which by the way, I thought of a good show idea last night. Oh my God, let's talk about it because we actually had another show we were talking about. Wait, do today. I say it? Seven and I are gonna. I don't want them to steal it. If it's that good, then did you write it down? No, okay. but I mean, I'll say it, and we'll just put it on Patreon, so we have the names. Of who's paying and who can steal the show idea. <laughs> okay. Patron exclusive. Well, just no, now. don't don't put in the deets. Here's the thing. So, so it's like I a show a show out. like yesterday. With show that, yes. Yes. Don't because say which one. I, well, I show like the one we, we were watching yesterday. Like, oh. But imagine it's like that. But it's based on what we did last summer with like that we were always doing. You know, that we would get outfits and go drive at uh, 7 a.m okay got you so it's like everyone there uh-huh. is part uh, of the show except for one uh and then okay now you've said too much just and then stop. there's things like when that just girl stop. had the blowout girl this is top secret stuff but it's good now oh i love a blowout then it's like uh, <laughs> uh, uh, ooh, uh. it's kind of scary how many good tv show ideas we have i know so um, re- we're ready for our, um being moguls of TV. marvelous tv moments um that's our new era so get ready everybody because send the manifestations we want to make i want to make a cute first like um camp show or movie with you yeah. then after that i kind of want to dip in our toe into reality tv a little bit yeah and then we have to finish with a horror movie exactly oh and then and then exactly yeah <laughs> Okay, exactly. Uh, no, y'all, I am so excited. We're going to watch The Little Mermaid tonight. We'll give our review and everything. 
Uh, what do you expect that it's going to be out of 10? Ew, girl, are you kidding? It's going to be above a 10. Like, I, I think I cannot so. believe the way that they filmed it. Did you see the video of her spinning in the animatronic thing? No. So basically, they, like, attached this, like, harness on her hips. You know, like, when Pink, like, ate shit in the concert? Oh, yeah. It's, it's giving my favorite. That. It's one of my favorite videos yes. ever. To it's giving that. If you don't know what it is, look up Pink falling down It'll be concert. the first. It'll be the first. And you're going to She's like, no, 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 no. It's so hilarious. anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, they have like guys or guys, gals, whoever, um, doing like in full blue drag, like head to toe blue, and they're like spinning her legs and arms as she has to act, as she's in the harness, and she's rotating like in the air. It's literally magical. So like the way that they edit That's all that crazy. details out, and it still looks so seamless to me. I don't know how they do that. It's so like is it on Photoshop or it's- what? <laughs> It's like, what year are we living in? Yeah. Is this 20th birthday? I'm really excited. And also, I saw a photo on Twitter. Uh-huh. There's yeah, are you excited? There's Merman. She's excited, folks. Merman in the daddy movie. Yeah. In huh? There's daddies on the sea floor. What? Oh my god, shut up. Huh? Daddy, how many? I saw like four in this photo, but they looked hot. I was like, Oh, a little I mean, like, mermaid. The gaze, you know, you're gonna do a little tsunami in my pants. Yes, a little show the show the bumps. I want to see what's under the scales. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to see <laughs> when those scales turn into legs. Legs. I, oh, which oh, the spell went wrong. I see three legs. <gasps> oh, oh, a oh. four. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all. We went out. Oh my god! Best part before we change when she she's acting, they hold a little plastic crab so she can look at it and talk. Oh, to it. see, like I feel Wait, like so funny. I would love to be like in a movie, but I don't know if I would love to be in a green screen type of movie, right? Because I would find it really hard to act. That's yeah, like you need to. I would. I need like. It's just where do you, you would have trouble knowing where to look? I guess. No, not even that. Just like I feel like okay get into it get into it but then i'd be like i'm not into it i'm not into it (laughs) yeah because that's why i love a music video because you kind of get the full fantasy yeah even if it's like a rain scene you're gonna get a little the real rain yeah you know but yeah in the movies it's all cgi now yeah so if i'm in a movie i would like it to be more like a real grassroots type of vibe touch grass touching grass all the time like yeah i want the high budget but i want that feel that it's not like i'm stepping into you know, like a TV on steroids, and I don't know what the fuck this place yeah, is. Yeah, but... more because of my performance. I'm scared of what my performance would be like if it's just a green screen. <laughs> I feel like, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm good at green screen that. acting. Well, we did that Your Love Music video. Your Love Music. <laughs> that was all green screen. Yeah, okay, and go check it out. Good. You know what? I'm not going to lie. For maybe... the budget being zero dollars. Yeah. So maybe giving. never mind. I am good at green screen acting. <laughs> and we Cast added me. that and everything ourselves. That's hilarious. Yeah. I watched that and I'm like, this is high camp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was really good. We're like, <laughs> no, like no jump. We're like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the way we purposely dressed in like outfits we had worn in the past and we just like, it was very we cute. looked outdated, but it was camp. <laughs> It was oh my god, another cute. movie we have to talk about before we move on to another subject is, of course, Barbie. They dropped a new trailer. Oh, they finally I finally gave, so like, gave us a plot, which I appreciate. Like, I love a good plot. I feel that. I feel like... I love a good plot, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm glad that they put their bussy into this one. Yeah, I'm excited to see it. And also, it's like, because there's so many people, because it's Barbie and because it's pink, and so many people were, like, being like, Ugh, I'm not gonna watch that. That looks so stupid. But but it's because they're like because it's pink. Yeah, because they always put down anything that's feminine, pink, girly. Girl, go touch some pink grass. Yeah, Jesus. it's giving. Where's very, the truffle of trees when you need them? Yeah, it's giving like millennials that hate on Taylor Swift kind of vibe, you know? Right. But then it's like it's. I feel like this movie's gonna prove them wrong because it's like there's so many layers. It doesn't matter if like it's something girly or feminine. It's like. It can be as deep or even better than a fucking Wes Anderson movie or whatever the fuck they like. Fucking Fight Club. Yeah, like, I whatever just want to pull up my Tired cool ass show, girls. I just want to pull up my culottes and fly down. Yeah. When she floats down, I was like, ah! Oh, the, the, the little, the little, the little, you know. Girl, your microphone. The little, the, the, <laughs> oh my God, it's fine. The little, um, the little, I don't know, gay in me was really fangirling at that moment. Because it's like, you know what? She floats. Because it's like somebody's playing with her. 
Like she's throw it. She's like, yeah, yeah. Ding. Oh, okay. Wow. That's iconic now. So iconic. Yes. Oh my God. Yes, that is what it is. Yeah. Wow. I was just thinking like, oh, it's so camp. She's flying, but now that makes sense. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, because they're like toys, right? Yes. I don't know. I'm very excited. Speaking of, she was in a dress flying down, right? Like a little skirt. I think so. Speaking of skirts, Olivia Rodrigo was not wearing a skirt in the album art for Sour. Did we know this? I don't... Because you know how you can see like a little bit of it? It looks like a little plaid skirt. Yeah? Yeah. We're going to take a hot break. I need to blow my nose. We'll be right back. <laughs> like, Star, shut up. I'm so proud of us. Like, I know. This little pod we got going. <laughs> Season two. Can we all just acknowledge the million plaque back there? I didn't post a vlog where I was saying thank you to y'all. And it's too old now, so I might just refilm a new one. Um, but thank you so much. Like, we hit my subscribers. If you're and... just listening and all watching, there's a whole setup behind us. Yes. And you can listen on all, wherever you listen to podcasts. You can watch parts of it on YouTube or go get the full thing on patreon.com slash Sebastian. And while you're here, please go subscribe to Seb Argo's channel because he is just a gorgeous, gorgeous guy. If you're listening on the streaming platforms, make sure you subscribe, follow, rate, and review because it will help us out a hand. Help out a hot girl. Anyways. Because we're back in hot girl summer. So I didn't know that Ooh. about Olivia Rodrigo, but why did you bring it up? It's just like one of those things you see on Twitter and you're like, I didn't need to know, but now I know. I don't see those things in Twitter. Uh, I'm mm. kidding. <laughs> Yo. So... Okay, update on our on our gym, you know, banter. Uh, we're at the gym today and Seb, <laughs> Seb busts me, you know, checking out someone's bulge. Uh, <gasps> this man had nice arms and Dion I was like, so seeing if obvious. anything else was nice. Dion is so obvious and I turn out like, oh, it's Dion. And he's like, what? I was just going to do one more rep. I'm like, you know what I'm talking about, girl. Stop playing. I was like, because at first I didn't know if you knew that I was looking. I'm like, what? Yeah, I always know. And then moments later, this old twink thing comes walking in and Seb's like, eyes glued. And yeah. I'm like, this guy was been here so many days. But the thing is, Seb doesn't bring his glasses. So he thinks it's like a different guy. Exactly. Yeah, I'm like, I put your glasses on. I literally said. I literally said in my mind, I know this bitch is going to think I'm checking him out. I'm just, because I looked at the grandma that came in. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, that guy was walking. And mm -hmm. I and then I saw him and I was like, oh, bitch. He's going to think I was checking him out. But I was looking at the grandma that was walking in. <laughs> the, the part is like, it's, we all naturally are going to check people out, right? Like, that's why. No, Dion, I just, I just stare at people I just want you to admit it. Dion, if I was checking someone out, I would admit it. I would literally tell you, oh, my God. Yeah, right. no, he, he's like, oh, and I'm looking them we well. have some <laughs> see about Neil Patrick Harris. Well, Somebody, alleged, one of y'all. Alleged. Yeah. One of y'all. One alleged. of y'all DM'd us something allegedly. And I was like, ah. <gasps> So it was very legit. Yeah, apparently we were like we went to Animal Kingdom and then I got a DM from y'all and they were like, Oh my god, is Neil Patrick Harris there? And I was like, No, why? why? And they're like, <laughs> Well, my friend went to Animal Kingdom one time and ran into him and then he Neil Patrick Harris DM'd him later and he was like, Hey, what you doing tonight? And then my uh, like that person's friend was like oh nothing and he's like do you want to come to the animal kingdom lodge which is like a hotel and mm -hmm. then he's like sure the so then he goes I'll meet you in the lodge mama he goes to the lodge and then i think they went into a van and they hooked up that guy's friend with neil patrick harris allegedly Allegedly, I don't know. Like, that's what the DM said. I was gagged. I was like in the line for Avatar, the ride, and I was like, I was scooped about. That's a story. different ride. I mean, the man's married, and I guess it's an open relationship. And they have kids. So, hello, hello. I don't know. I, Let's I don't make know. a TV show with Neil Patrick. <laughs> well, they did, but it got canceled. <laughs> oh right, yeah, our pilot, yeah, filmed, rebooted. On to the next one. Are we saying Our we filmed the pilot with Neil Patrick Harris? No, they did make a, make a show with Neil Patrick Harris. Oh, another one. Remember the 40 and single, or what was it? Yeah, yeah. Single? Oh, yeah. Married. No, I know about that show. Yeah, but it got canceled. Yes. I didn't watch it because I didn't... I started watching it, but Wasn't then... Wasn't hearing great things. No, I started watching <laughs> it, but then it just felt like the same old thing. Yeah, they're trying to trying to be gay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not, it's like, let's let's just show authentic <laughs> stories. Um. Like Anja Chandra was saying on a podcast recently, how like let's get back to that like the real shit. 
Like, let's stop trying to be big. Yeah, Does that like, make sense? yeah, it's like kind of like with the whole like gays of WeHo. Yeah, they're like it's a reality show about real friends from WeHo, and they're like they're not even friends, and they like don't have anything to talk about. It's like girl, live in Vegas. Yeah, <laughs> they no, live but... in Toronto. No, like okay. it's like I'm so done with like the Kardashians and all these yeah. reality shows that it's like all overproduced, mm-hmm. over recycled, overused stuff. And I'm really excited. Like Seb and I right now we're wrapping up album book. We really want to get like maybe an EP going for Seb before the summer is done before the wedding. Yeah, bitch. And then I really do feel on the horizon later this year, like us filming a couple pilots, and I'm really excited because I think we have a really nice perspective. Truly, Seb, like, I feel it too. Yeah, I, I feel like we I have do. a lot of ideas. That'd be cool. So if you're a producer listening to the ass, hit us up. We're not mad about it. Also, if you want to sponsor anything content-wise for the wedding, let us let know. Let us know. The wedding's coming up, and we are very excited. I know. Oh my God, we we're like, have... getting all the details worked out. We're like, oh, this is going to be like something. So we Cute. were struggling. I'm not going to say too much to keep it like a surprise. Uh-huh. But we were struggling. And from this point on, we're documenting everything. We have been kind of missing well, some there was, Well, like, but it's okay. I filmed the call. I was going to be like, it's been an uneventful, but honey. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> you said behind the scenes. Let's catch it. Too. <laughs> so we're at a point now where we're going to film, and in the next four months to the wedding, it's going to be so much glorious content, and we're going to have a great time doing it. And very positive Up- vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Up until this part, however, <gasps> it was like... Um, we are recovering from a little eye twitch. Yeah, we both got... <laughs> a little stress. We both got eye twitches, like stress eye twitches from yes. the past three weeks. You know. The past, like, I think it's like from the beginning of this year uh-huh. Uh-huh. that the stress was going on. Yeah, and these first five months torpedoed into what I would call, thank God we stayed productive because a lot of shit went down. Yeah, <laughs> like related to the wedding, we were all like, <laughs> which is to be expected and you know it's like yin and yang like what we were saying like you got the balance because we in a lot of ways with the wedding are super blessed lucky and excited like a lot of things are working out nicely instead of being stressful yeah so it's like we have to always there's always the other side yeah like i was telling you like it's kind of like i feel like we needed that stress because it was like so easy and so like fun in the beginning and i was like where's the wedding stress that everyone talks about so if it not come if it doesn't come from where you expect it it's gonna come from somewhere else uh-huh, uh-huh. And it's gonna come from inside of the hills. I'm kidding. No. Essentially, we just we didn't realize that, um, you know, people always say like people make their the, your wedding about them instead of like it about you, which is obviously not how it should be, and obviously not everyone's like that, right? I just feel like we're at a point where we really want to have the days leading up to our wedding be peaceful. <laughs> Yeah, and, and like not dramatic. So we were struggling to find our outfits, but now because we were like, how? Do, where do we go? Like, do we go like full on <laughs> extra? Do we go like yes, something else? So we initially messaged a designer who we adore, and we wanted to go with their designs, and then we were like going back and forth for a long time, being like, we don't actually even know what we want, so we should we need to take a step back and figure that out. Yeah, and now we realized that our are kind of like what we want is maybe keeping it, you know, I guess we're stereotypically classic, but with like a little edge. But we we don't. I don't want to like go too much fabric, so to speak. Yeah. Oh, you want to be revealing? Yeah. Yeah. I'm exactly. Excited. Exactly. <laughs> uh no. Yeah, I'm excited. We don't want to spoil it, but you will no, see. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Uh, I, I definitely this month is the month where I'm gonna idea like what the details i want yeah you know? like they said they're gonna send a proposal by next week so mm-hmm. we will see what they have and then because like we'll work from there like are we gonna talk about ice spice ice spies featuring taylor swift karma remix is my boyfriend but anyways the remix dropped and it's funny because i was like oh you know how i was telling you like ever like i have been going through different phases of like what my favorite song is from the album and then my favorite song started being Karma, and then she started pushing it as the radio, and then she came out with a remix and everything. And I'm like, oh, Karma is my boyfriend. I thought that was gonna happen because it's such a catchy tune. I, I, out of the whole album, that one gives like single vibe. Yeah, it's so good. Mm-hmm. I just kept posting it on my story because I couldn't get enough <laughs> and on my reels and everything. Ooh. Uh, but y'all we met my little niece oh yeah we're gunkles now yeah, so my brother had a baby 
and like, which is crazy and to his, think Beyonce had a baby and it, yeah it is crazy like seeing someone so close to you have a baby it's like what yeah you're like oh shit <laughs> And the photos of the baby, like, because they're close up, the baby looks really big. Like, we hadn't been there for three weeks. So I was like, oh, my God, like, the baby's growing so fast. We got to yeah, go. Yeah, I was going to be like, the baby's going to have a job by the yeah. time we get there. We got to meet her. So we go, and she was so tiny, and I was crying the entire time. I literally <laughs> gasped. As soon as she, they brought her out, I was like, oh, she's so tiny. Oh. She was, like, the size of my head. Right? Yeah, and, like, that's the beauty of life. And that's what I'm saying, like, so cute. if we just – if we keep drawing like so much attention to the hate in this world, like Kanye, for example, how there's so much people who like support that ignorance, but there's also so many people who don't support that ignorance, but are giving him so much energy. Like that's not doing anything, but putting your energy in the wrong basket. Yes. Like let's take our energy and think of like how you feel when you see a newborn baby. Let's I take know. that beautiful feeling aside, put that out. And it's no fucking joke. Like we have so much potential. I feel to make this world like Better. real talk better like so much better. but everyone's focusing on the wrong shit like instead of focusing on like what matt haley said focus on fucking what's his name the santis and yeah. see how you can take him down like think about the technology Cause... like there's so many incredible young minds out there not even young minds just any age like you can do anything with technology these days why not help make the world a better place like because it's like yeah like if you want to take someone down you want to take down a guy that is taking rights away from trans people and LGBTQ people in Florida instead of the guy that eats raw steak yeah. while singing. It like, seems who do you want to take down, huh? But it's like they don't care. Yeah, like, let's actually care. Let's care about each other. It's not that hard. Oh, baby. And that's see it. So there's this place that we go to get matchas. And then we went there after the gym, and there's like a school right in front of it. And it's we get out of the car. I'm so glad we didn't forget to every call this time, Every time we go there, <laughs> like, there's been plenty of times that it's, like, the kids are in recess, and we always get catcalled Feral. by them. Or, like, Zombie they children. scream at us. They're, like, flex for us! Flex! Okay, or they're, like... We have three instances. Let's start in the winter. What happened in the winter? So, in the winter, <laughs> we went to get matchas. We were wearing shorts, because it was we came from the gym. We were running from the car to the gym to jump to the car in shorts. In and the then we, so we get out to get our matchas, and they're like, oh, look at those two. They're wearing shorts. She goes, I feel so bad for them. They can't afford pants. Like, I feel sorry for them. They must be freezing. It's but screaming at us. They're like seven. Oh, it's or I don't full know, know reading challenge. They want us to know about it. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're like, ha ha. So we go. And then we always forget that that time is recess. Yeah. Then we we're go back again. Life. We were like, no, we went on a run. A and run. it was like, we went all the way over there. And they're like, oh, that's the muscular guys. Keep running. Run, <laughs> run. And they're like, flex for us. And now when we run, we like, literally oh. will avoid the school. We avoid schools now when we go on runs, which is so funny. It's like we're terrified of and children. And now the <laughs> most recent one. Where, why we're terrified of children. Yeah, we're walking to get matcha. Uh, it was like I brought was brought back to my high school bully moment. Me too. I was like, <laughs> shit, bitch. <laughs> I was like, I still, I thought like at this point in my life, oh, I could like handle high school now. Like I wouldn't care about the bullies or the bullshit or whatever. But no, I was like, oh, I'm still that little boy. And that's middle school. I'm still traumatized. Like, I won't even handle middle school. Because <laughs> I feel like now they're more vocal. Yeah, very. So we get the out. Articulation has progressed because TikTok has given them some <laughs> some words, I feel. We get out in your little tiny cute shorts. <laughs> showing Five inch and you know us. And they're like, oh, what was it? <laughs> Why are your shorts so short? <laughs> Excuse me. Um. I need to know. And they're not like they're not like talking to that. It's like screaming like yeah. we can hear you from the other side of the parking lot. Why do lot. you boys wear those shorts? Uh, excuse me, are you gay or something? Wait, do you have girlfriends or are you gay? Are you guys gay? <laughs> are you guys gay? Why are your shorts so short, guys? Listen, guys, pull down those pants, you nasties. We want to see longer pants. Yeah, I was like, oh I was my god. Like, God, they're reading us. I just got called gay by a child. Like this is. Uh, oh my god! Like I guess they were being supportive. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, oh. okay, we're not gonna come here during recess again. But we're probably gonna forget. <laughs> no, again. no, no. I've learned my lesson. Like now, I actually do think about uh, it. Every time we pass that school, I'm like, I am going the other way. Because it's like they know, like. 
they remember us from about them or something. They're like, they're here. It's only hey, too long until they're like, hey, yeah, that's those freaks from TikTok. <laughs> and we're like, who? I don't know who you're talking about. I don't, uh, videos? I'm a mechanic. So yeah, like, do y'all have any stories like that with children? Because I feel like children have audacity times 3,000 nowadays. Audacity times 3,000. And you know what's coming up? Halloween. Four months, five months away now? Because our, our coming up. Well, listen about it, right? Like, we think it's far away, but the wedding is in October, and so is Halloween. Yeah. So they're coming up. We have a couple options for outfits. I want y'all to vote. We have Romy and Michelle. Go over to Patreon. Be there cute. will be a poll. Or in Spotify, too. Yes, Romy and Michelle is number one. The second on the poll, please vote y'all. Make sure you like and review. Is Barb and Star. Barb and Star from Vista Don Mar. Barb Number one, Romeo and Michelle High School Reunion. Check out these movies, y'all. Number three. I'm Ariel, you're Sebastian. That's stupid. <laughs> I knew you were going to hate that. I just wanted to be a mayor man. Um, Where's Addy? I think. Wait, you had said number three, but it was really bad. And I was like, we're not doing that one, Dion. Yeah, what was the other one? I had. We did have another one. Hmm. It was something really basic, but so not that one. But not that one. If we have more ideas, we'll let you know. Yeah, but please do let us know if you have any other ideas because Halloween's coming, and I, I kind of feel like snapping this year. Yeah, well, we always snap, let's be honest. Yeah, but we do have to plan it. Yeah. The wedding's coming, and then it's after. And, oh, hot cue. Are we going to have our honeymoon like this like a, a, this sep- a separate year or yeah, yeah. next like, year yeah that's that's my question i don't know like it depends on my visa really <laughs> <laughs> no but yeah because i want to do i feel like a cruise vibe would be great okay. i love cruising <laughs> so let's <laughs> like cruising like getting on boats and yeah. traveling not the other crew was <laughs> <Yeah. saying. laughs> not the i'm not gonna because i was like talking a, to diana about i was talking to diana i only know about that because people talk about it in podcasts i was talking to diana i was like oh yeah i love going on cruises like i feel like cruising is so fun and the was like what i'm like yeah like you get to like go to different places but i was talking about like taking a we, cruise we got the wrong idea and here. traveling yes and dion <laughs> thought i was talking about I mean, hooking up with an old man in a bathroom oh i mean that's what you're into <laughs> that's what you're which into. we knew someone that loved that yeah we did we did and now we don't thank god <laughs> <laughs> we don't love that person. Anyways, so yeah, I feel like we could go on a cruise to like Greece or something like that. That'd be fun. Yes, I definitely think we should do that. It may be January. It gets really cold here. That would be nice. To yeah, we'll see when it's like time, better time to go there. We also think we might move to Vancouver. Like, okay, y'all. Or meta- Barcelona. Manifesting- Barcelona. <laughs> I'm manifesting a little tour in Canada and UK after our wedding later this year. Like a little cute Christmas tour, you know, like November, December. Like celebrate Christmas with the with you cuties. Oh, that's so cute. we would kind of come on tour. So I would maybe perform one or two of his Ooh. songs. Then I would come out, perform some of my album. Then maybe we'd do it live so rude. And then we would do it. Like, oh, that'd be cute. Rude. Yes. So this is what's going to happen. I've been putting it out there for a while. It's going to happen. Um. So after that, I think we would do like the honeymoon. Yeah, because I just think like our honeymoon, we want to be reset. We're gonna yeah. be tired of the wedding. Like I also want to go to Thailand too, so that would not be a cruise. That's more relaxing. So I yeah, definitely maybe January, February we do a cruise, Thailand, the whole bam. Oh, that'd be fun. Oh, I'm, down. <laughs> I'm, down. <laughs> I'm so excited! You and your too. cute lavender haze parachute panties over there. Thank Is this what you. we're giving today? Lavender haze, lavender gaze. Yes. Thank you. What am I giving? You're giving. You're, like, you're giving. Thank God you took off that Chanel <laughs> ribbon. <laughs> you're going being confused, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Very confused, guys. But seriously, though, uh, thank you so so much to our rainbow clown besties over on Patreon. You thank are the you best. to the demonetized bestie. Your support yeah. really does mean the world to us. And thank you to Manny mm-hmm. for being a collector. collector. If you want to see the cool tears, receive Polaroids. And other little goodies, check out our patreon.com slash Sebastian. We are on all streaming platforms now. Hello, if you're listening to us on a streaming platform, let us know. And welcome to the pod, friend. Make sure you stream it on every single streaming platform. Share, like, rate, and review. Subscribe and follow us for more. This cutie over here is Seb Argo. And this cutie over there is Dion Yorkie. This has been. So, so rude. rude. Bye, besties. Bye, bye. I'm a homie being sus. Don't break up. Does he know I know this? Does he want some? Come a homie being sus. Don't get caught. Tell his girl we're just chilling while I taste him. Come a homie being sus.